All right, I'm gonna make a video on this quick set Halo. It's a Wi-Fi with Bluetooth. It's a keypad smart lock. And we wanna be able to use this lock with Wi-Fi if we're anywhere in the world, Jamaica, Mexico, wherever, we wanna be able to lock and unlock our door. So I decided to install this new lock right here. I installed it about a week ago, so I'm gonna give you an update. I'm gonna unbox it and I'm gonna show you how to install it. I made a couple of mistakes because I ain't read the instructions. So maybe you watch this video, you'll see how simple it is without making a mistake I made. I had to go and return this and get a new one because I ended up breaking something because I didn't follow the instructions. But it's it's really simple to do, uh, and it's a pretty handy. I've been using it for a few days now, and a while we was way across town. We forgot to lock the door, and we had Wi-Fi, so we was able to lock it from about 40, 50 miles away. So I, we haven't been on vacation yet in Jamaica, uh, Mexico, but we'll be heading off to Puerto Rico there in uh, probably another month. So I'll try it there. But I'm gonna show you how to install this thing. It's pretty neat as far as I'm concerned. It comes with a key. I always get something that comes with a key in case the malfunction, it malfunction, I would be able to use my key. And that knife right there do not come with it. So you got this. This one right here is for the internal. That's the external with the buttons. And it comes with all the screws and stuff. That's for the lock. I ain't gonna take all these out and show you. And this is for the latch. And you can use some of your old parts on your door if you would like. If you don't want to use all the screws, just use your old screws. And this if you're installing a new door and if you don't have the stuff. But most people are using this to replace old locks. So here's the instructions. And don't worry about the instructions. I'm going to walk you through step by step on how to install this thing. It's, sometimes it's better to see someone do it than to try to read all these instructions. So first of all, what I did, I installed the app. Just uh, take your camera and zoom in on it. And then it'll go to the website and it'll ask you if you want to do Apple or Google. I got an iPhone and just hit allow, just follow the instructions. I'm going to use my iPhone and I'm going to accept the cookies right here. And I'm going to go ahead and set up the app and go through the process of setting my account up. So that's the first thing I did because I didn't want to do that at the end. So once I download the app, now we should go through the process of uh, installing this thing. And that's what the app looks like right there. So I'm not going to open it right now. I just installed it. But you see this latch right here? You can adjust it. Mine's come standard right there. And it's a sign that right there says up. That's the way that needs to be installed. So I'm going to just take a few measurements on my door, which I know it's a standard door. I don't, you don't need to do this. I'm just doing it for this video purpose. But just take your latch. Make sure that part that says up is up. Push it in there. Like I said, you can use your old screws if you want. And make sure that's in the center. And it's centered. Take your screws. Put your screws in. Like I said, if you got old screws, you can use those if you want to. And the next step, I'm going to just tighten them down, make sure everything's on there pretty snug. Next, you want to take your exterior, exterior that's the one with the, the keypad. You want to line it up, make sure you put the cable in. You see, I made a mistake right there. Make sure you put that on first. I'm going to get my son to help me hold it. and Take that plate off right there. And that's the interior. Make sure you take that plate off. And put that piece on and take your screws. How those screws handy? Just screw them in. It's good if you got an electric screwdriver. It makes things a lot faster. And you don't want to get that too tight. You want to snug it up because you want to be able to make adjustments 
as you can see I'm tightening it up a little bit I'm, I'm not over tightening it because I want to look outside and make sure I got it pretty much straight I'm gonna eyeball it there I ain't gonna put no level on it or anything once I feel comfortable with that it's straight I'm gonna go ahead and tighten those two screws down okay now next I'm gonna take that cover off and you see that make sure that triangle part is pointing up and go ahead and plug it in it's only one direction you'll see that little white symbols there just line those up snap it in place put it in and it should slide right on you remember I told you the triangle part the pointed area is at the top it slides on what you want to do is take your screws there's two screws you put them there at the bottom just to hold this thing in place and don't over tighten stuff and break it once you got those snug what you want to do is test your lock make sure it's a smooth action it's not hanging up anywhere and that's really smooth right there Okay, now you take the battery pack out. Just go ahead and install your batteries. It's four AA batteries. Then what you want to do is slide it in. And what it's going to do is learn itself. As soon as I put it in, watch what happens. This is very important. See how it went in? Then it's going to come back out. It's not going to go all the way in. That's what I messed up. I thought it's supposed to go all the way in, so I thought it was bad, so I took it back and got me a new one. Then once you install the batteries, make sure you still got that smooth action. And again, when you're learning this thing, when you're putting the battery in, it's not going to go all the way in. So that's just for your information. I thought it's supposed to go all the way in. So I'm going to close it and make sure everything's lined up perfectly or correct. I'm going to lock it. I'm going to zoom in. You see how I'm locking it. and it locked it didn't have no hesitation at all so everything's pretty smooth there I'm gonna try it again and everything looks like it's working great so we're gonna continue to the next step okay you see right there in the triangle part is pointing up right there also so that this cover will slide right on Okay, once the cover slides on, you want to put your three screws, two on the side, and the instruction tell you which screws to put in. Uh, and you make make sure you don't over tighten this stuff and break anything or crack anything. So you got one on each side and one at the bottom. That's to keep this in place. So now I'm gonna take this cover off. Now we fit the app here. You open up the app hit that at the top hit next and it walks you through the app I'm just showing you going through this quickly and it says we're gonna pair stuff up so hit that A and hold it for like three seconds until you see that blue light once you do that you hit your next you see the light is blinking now it's trying to pair it up Bluetooth is pairing up and you want to do the Bluetooth first then you just pick you want just go through that hit yes and I'm gonna speed this process up it takes a little while to go through that that right there I speed it up like 16 times so it takes a little while to download and pair this thing up I'll say probably about 20 minutes or so once it's you updated your firmware it's updated hit OK and you just go through the process of creating your name and it walks you through it like I said it's fairly easy but it's, it's just pretty slow process this always hits next now we're doing a Wi-Fi pick what Wi-Fi you want put Glenn Lewis senior and enter your passcode once you enter your passcode you hit next 
or submit. Now it's pairing it up. It just wants to go through this process, which it takes a little bit right here. I sped that up and it says successful. Your lock has been added. There you go. So now you can enter your passcode and you can enter up to 250 passcodes, users passcode. So let's see how this works. I'm going to put the cover back on. My Wi-Fi and my Bluetooth is all squared up. So I'm going to unlock it. I'm going to lock it again. And it tells you the history and everything. It's a lot you can do. You just go in the app and you just got to mess with it a little while. So right now it's locked. So I just have to hit the button. So now it says unlocking. It. It's unlocking the door. So the door is being unlocked. So you can hit it again to lock it. As you can see, it says locking. And the good thing about this thing, if you got Wi-Fi, you can use it anywhere in the world. You know? And this is great. All right, thanks for watching and subscribe to my channel.